Hello, book burners, and welcome to another episode of Books Are Burning. I'm your host, Mark Will, author, songwriter, and publisher in Permanent Exile, currently based on the island of Taiwan. I'm joined today by my good friend, Ghani Oyedele, a comedian, actor, writer, director, producer, and activist who also happens to be based in Taiwan. He's the host of Last Week in Africa, a satirical but factual news program on YouTube. And today we will be discussing Wole Shoyinka's nonfiction book of Africa. Here it is in hardcover. This episode will focus on part one of the book, which is titled Past into Present. Now, Nobel laureate Wole Shoyinka should need no introduction. But still, I'd like to ask you, Ghani, who is Wole Shoyinka? Yes, Wole Shoyinka, the man, the legend. I practically grew up with Wole Shoyinka. I mean, it was everywhere, on radio, on TV, basically an icon on steroids, you know. A small home library was like a shrine to him. Just one or two shelves, you get. But it's filled with his books. Now... One of his books that really caught my eyes was The Man Died. I mean, come on, the title alone is like a thriller movie <laughs> waiting to happen. And his face, oh man, his face was right there on the front page, staring at me like, you better read me. <laughs> but I wasn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shade, seriously, when it came to understanding his genius. I'll pick up the book, all motivated and all, but like a YouTube tutorial on quantum physics. I'll just drop it and go back to reading some good old Chino Achebe. But you know what's crazy? Whenever one of his songs with Nigerian popular singer Tunji Oyelano came on the airwaves, it was like our whole family turned into contestants on the America's Got Talent or something. It was great. I love my country, I know go lie, na inside them I go live and die. I know my country, I know go lie, na him and me go ya till I die. <laughs> Let me tell you, the whole country knew about Wally Shoinka talent way before he bagged the Nobel Prize. It was like it was our secret weapon, you know. We we're just waiting for the for the war to catch up. So, yeah, when you talk about Wale Shoyinka, it's not just about the books, Nobel Prize. It's about a cultural phenomenon that had us all singing, dancing, and trying to be as brilliant as Wale. You see, the, the first Wale Shoyinka book that I actually read was The Lion and the Jewel. Now, this book is all about clash between tradition, culture, and westernization uh, in Africa. But let me tell you, when I first read it as a kid, I had different agenda completely. I didn't see it as a cultural masterpiece. It was more like my secret weapon for impressing the ladies with big words. You know, a literary playbook on how to win hearts and minds. Picture this, a, a bunch of us school kids strutting around like mini Shakespeare's armed with our trusty dictionaries. Well, the book. <laughs> and we thought if we drop words like lacunely, the character in the book, will be irresistible to the girls. It gets our own lovely city, that's the character, uh, the, the jewel, and charm our way into like a spelling big championship. But here's the kicker. If we had bothered to finish that book, we would have learned a valuable lesson. You see, that character with all the big words, well, it didn't exactly win the girl's heart. Neither did we, but we did improve our vocabulary. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't realize that uh, Shoyinka was also a songwriter. Most people don't know that. <laughs> I mean, he, he was into everything. I mean, you can tell from his uh, writings, though. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. can tell that he, 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 he's just a genius, you know. Absolutely. 